you may or may not be able to tell, that camera moving around a little bit, it's incredibly windy today. Therefore, windproof trousers, windproof jumper, windproof gloves, windproof hat, windproof neck and face cover as well. So why is it then that not many people making outdoor videos take the time to windproof their cameras? Now this one here is a typical camcorder. Many people would use something similar for filming their videos. And if I turn this one into the wind, you'll hear just how bad wind noise can be. Does that sound familiar? Now the wind has actually died down a little bit since I started filming. But you should notice wind noise on that little clip. It's terrible, it's awful. It's all over YouTube as well, and there's no need for it. That's what I use on my main camera. That's an external mic. Very, very expensive, but it does a cracking job. It really, really does. Even in nigh on hurricane force wind, you don't get any wind noise with that. But with this one, we've actually got the mic under here. That's the built-in mic. And on that one, we've got the mic along the top, so there's not much we can do with that, hence the external mic. Because this one would ordinarily be used on a tripod, because I don't use much handheld, um, it's really, really easy to fit a cover under here, and I'll show you how. This is an apple juice bottle, I've washed it out. And from there, I've simply cut out a shape using a pair of scissors. I'm just gonna round the edges off because the sides of this plastic are quite sharp. Right, and that is what we're gonna fit under there. Okay, because this particular stand only has the screw fitting, it doesn't have the pin, all I need to do is mark that, allowing about an inch overhang there. And we'll simply mark that, drill a hole, and then it's ready to fix. No need for any special tools when you're doing this. Okay, so that goes on there. Our stand gets screwed on. Yep, nice and tight. And now we've got a little flexible flap here, just under where the microphone is. Now the best stuff to use is something called dead cat material. It might sound a bit macabre, but it's basically just a material with lots of fluffy bits coming off it. I've got a couple of different types here. That bit might be about the right size. I'll put a link to it in the video description. It's available all over the place online. So now all I need to do, bend that down. Sandwich it in there. It doesn't obscure the lens, but what it does do, it has all these hairy bits in front of the microphone and that stops the wind. So that is a really good way to eliminate wind noise, or at least reduce it greatly in your videos. And just in case you're wondering how solid this is, that's not gonna fall out. This holds it in. And it can all be packed away in different sections of your bag. There you go, back outside. Just fit our dead cat material and we'll film that again. Hopefully that sounds a little bit better. So this is a great setup. Uh, it's reasonably inexpensive as well. We've got a splash proof camera, shock proof, um, and a good stand which is adjustable. And now we've got a microphone as well. And that should ensure that our videos, at the very least, sound good. If you've liked this video, hit the thumbs up, share it wherever you want. I hope a lot of people find this useful, and I'll see you next time.